What's good? <laughs> so, nah, what's up with y'all, man? Um, just left the gym and, uh, you know, got to get my workout on tradition. My traditional workout in, but I uh, couldn't help myself. I was leaving the gym and I happened to spot a couple whips that I wanted to grab real quick, man. I wanted to put on the channel for y'all. Y'all's enjoying me. I think this one car I got it already once before. Um, I think I might have, uh, I think I might have got the one before at the car show. I've been saying that a lot though, so that means I've been getting a lot of cars, but uh, I think I got this car once before. This is a Le Mans Sport, and the one next to it is a uh. It's a Buick. It's lightweight raining out here and it's cloudy. It's all get out. This Buick is crazy though. And he on the dubs. It's a nice car. They they normally have like a cruise in up here on um the weekends or whatever. Like I want to say Sundays. They have, you know, people pull out their cars and stuff and bring them up. I wonder what year this is. Is this like a 69? I always like the way the bumper went in in the back yeah, that's pretty hard man all right they will park right next to it i wasn't able to get the driver's side of it i was moving too slow but yeah I, I like this this is a skylark i want to say that black on black is crazy with the white guts in him and then this le mans is pretty nice too i like the I always like these burnt orange paint jobs, man. I think the burnt orange paint jobs is dope. And he's sitting on the gold knockoffs. Got the guts down with the wood steering wheel on the inside. Uh, did I see this up in? Yeah, 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 yeah. This was up in Akron. He a vert though. He a convertible. Nice ride though, man. Clean, classic look. The guts on the inside of this is immaculate. Immaculate guts on him, man. Definitely, definitely hard. That paint is crazy. But y'all just want to stop and grab these couple cars real quick. Let y'all check them out. Anytime I get a chance to see cars, I grab them and I vlog on it. So yeah, with that being said, man, we are, uh, you know, just staying focused on everything that we got going on, man. I was off today. You know, this week, these next couple of days is going to be kind of hectic and busy because the kids go back to school. Um, I still got to go out and get chased a couple little things. We mostly got everything off the way already. And I'll get his hair cut tomorrow and I'll be dropping him off at school Tuesday. I think I might be able to, I think for sure. But uh, yeah, that's about all that's going on with me, man. You know, I've been keeping, staying consistent, keeping up with these videos, dropping them, and um, just trying to stay positive about everything that's going on in my life right now. But like I said, you know, things been changing. I had some life changing uh, situations happen, you know, career wise and all kind of stuff. So everything is looking very, uh, positive the, out, the outlook is looking very positive you gotta let me know i'm a big truck and um i think that you know for the most part you know i'm back in a space to where i can move around and do some of the things i want to do and don't have to necessarily stress out about people working for me you know i have my i got my own business but i had a contract doing some things cleaning out some um a bandit or uh you know people vacant houses and stuff like that and just getting people to come to work and show up work consistent consistently was challenging as well as the company or the agency that i had the contract with was paying me slow so you know um we're gonna switch up to this real estate thing get us a couple properties and rent them out man and see how that goes man but yeah other than that it's a pretty ugly day in Ohio, it's raining right now. When I came out the gym, I'm like, dang, I felt some sprinkles. And that's the, all I had to do was look up, man. Typical Ohio weather. Y'all see, we got blessed. The last couple of video, matter of fact, the last video I did when I went out and got my uh, tags for the F-150, it was nice. I was talking about how nice it was, you know, the, the temperature had been right. You know, we just had some nice days 
uh, the sun was out, wasn't raining or nothing, and then, you know, today. So I guess it was too good to be true that it was gonna um, <laughs> happen the third day where we have beautiful weather. But it's all good, man. You know, you gotta take the good with the bad. The sun ain't always gonna shine, but at the end of the day, I'm still here, I'm still alive. So, you know, I got to be happy with that, if nothing else, man. I can't sit around and complain about stuff all the time, man. Sometimes people just find a reason to just complain about stuff, even when it ain't that bad or, you know, even if, when it ain't that serious. You know, some people just make the, the worst out of certain situations um, or make certain situations a lot worse than they got to be by just complaining, man. Sometimes you just got to suck it up, especially for men. We got to man up sometimes and just take it, you know, like. This situation with my car, you know, like I keep telling y'all, man, I, you know, it would be nice to have my car and it be done right now. But, you know, I can't sit around and whine and cry about my car, the time that it's taking to get it fixed and all of that every single day, man. At some point, you know, I'm going to have to tell myself to shut up. You feel me? So I'm going to go in here and get some gas real quick. And um, I want to take my phone and I mean, I want to take my uh, camera in the store. So I'm gonna uh, come back as soon as I come out. What's good, man? I'm stop up here to check out my boy Maul. It's like the beginning of the school year going on right now. So we got a lot to do today. I gotta get Chase to um, get his hair cut. Need to go out and get him some shoes and stuff, man. And um, you know, just a lot of stuff going on, man. We're gonna talk about the Monte Carlo SS and stuff like that. And, you know, just make a full video out of this for everybody, man. I appreciate everybody that's been tapping in, man. Make sure, you know, y'all keep coming back because I'm going to keep bringing y'all this content. Again, you know, my channel is based around the Monte Carlo SS, but I'm a man. Um, I'm a human being, so I do have other things going on in my life. So, you know, I'm going to bring y'all that content as well. It ain't always got to be, you know, on the same things every single time. You know what I mean? I'm a family man, so I want to promote that too man but what i need y'all to do right now man is hit that like that share and that subscribe button man and make sure y'all share this with a friend and go check me out over on instagram go. Uh, fresh yeah no 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 i ain't work y'all uh, going tonight, tonight right. what you got going on though Dutch still in here working working who you have paint your truck huh? who you have hit your truck for you Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you want to get it redone? Yeah, like you see how it's in the wheel well resting already. What side? On that side right there, I think. Like if you look up in there, they just painted all that shit. Oh, up in here. Yeah, already. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You can get that rehit. Yeah, bro got the big horn. 4x4, four four, you know what I mean? Four wheel drive. He working on it slowly, you know, getting it together. But uh, he just recently got some work done to it because it was like bubble. Oh, okay, I see what he's saying. It was bubbling right here. So he had got all that fixed. Like, I mean, I don't even think it's been a year since he got that done. But he ready to put some feet on it, lift it up a little bit and everything. But I think he gonna take it back and get that redone that's the thing about these trucks like having pickup trucks and stuff they hold moisture up in here automatically and then you got a lot of like you know you got a bed liner so that water get trapped under that bed liner man and you know snow sits in them over the winter time so they definitely go out uh especially when we're talking about an older truck because my truck is a 2006 i ain't for sure what year is it what's up with you bro all right, so Chasen got his hair cut. Ah. Ah. Let's see. All right, let me see the side. All right, so you got some waves in there. All right, so we got his hair cut. Now we're gonna run and see if we can grab him like an extra pair of kicks for school. Um, buddy is kind of rough on shoes, so we're gonna try to get him together. I'm gonna find us some shoes and uh hopefully we get a little excitement while we out and about we're gonna go link up with phoenix so that should be good so let's get there all right so we at the mall um about to see about getting 
this one some shoes. <laughs> he got a whole attitude because he couldn't stay at home by himself and play the Oculus or whatever it was that he wanted to do after he got his hair cut. But you know what? what? I could care less if he mad. What? I could care less if he mad. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, All right, so yeah. we got little Miss Phoenix with us. And we're gonna go see what type of shoes we can get Buddy so he can tear them up first week. But all in all, everything is good. I love to have one of these. 30 cents inch brittle outside. How much is this? I might have to come back and get one of these on a day when it's about me. Propane joint, make your breakfast, everything. And I think I've seen one up at Morris. Uh, building. Chase had to use the restroom real quick. Drain the, you know, drain that out. Now we're gonna get over here and see if he can find some shoes real quick. Oh, he want a fishing pole. Yeah, we. Oh, we should go fishing this weekend. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, we go fishing this weekend. Come on. Right, I'm coming. This is exactly why. You don't bring your kids in store. Oh, okay. Whoa, you want to, uh, yeah. LOL. What is, hold on, hold on. What does it say? LOL surprise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll come back and get that for when we take Chase fishing this weekend. Okay. You got to remember. You got Paw Patrol. You got Paw Patrol fishing poles. Oh, yeah, I get this. Yeah, you can get the squad girls. LOL surprise fishing pole. Ain't that much either, only 17. Oh, fish! Yep. Alright, we're gonna get you one. How'd you find that? How'd you find that? How'd you find it? You ran back here and found it? Wow, you're such a big girl now that you turn four. You gotta reroute your kids sometimes. We ain't not buying fishing poles, we getting chase shoes. <laughs> All right, be careful. I'm about to get in trouble. You get back over there and go try them shoes on. And you, come, and you get, you come back over. Here. Come on, I'm not playing. No. Come here. You about to get? It. I'm about to take you around one of these corners and fire no. you up. Come on, get up. Get up. Come on, let's go. No. Come on. Get over here. Alright, man. So we got everything out the way. I currently got some uh some of my meal prep stuff on at the crib, but I wanted to take my trash out um back and uh finish this video at the same time, man, and send y'all the proper way. Um and not too much going on, just getting ready for school. I'm gonna try to see him off for his first day of school tomorrow. So that may end up being on the end of this video. Um, and so that's dope, man. But I was riding around and I was thinking about some things. Um, I'm always thinking about finances and things like that. Like, you know, even though, you know, I'm into building this Monte Carlo SS and I plan on spending it like some more money. I probably got 10 grand in it so far. And I'm gonna try to possibly possibly put another um, 10 in it or whatever so 20 something like that 30 but anyway um, with that being said though um, I'll, po I'll possibly there go uh, Chase's mom I'll possibly uh, make a make a um, some adjustments to my credit situation um, like you know I was talking about it the other day at the end of the video saying you know how I thought that you know, I wanted to lease and some things I want to do financially. I want to get into uh, remodeling some houses, um, putting them back on the market, flipping those. Give me a minute. All right, so I'm going to take you on this credit journey with me as well, man. Um, you know, we shooting for a high, high credit score. Um, as high as we can get it. Uh, so, you know, some of the things that we're going to be looking at as far as my credit goes is... Uh, 
I got I have I do have some student loan stuff that I need. I don't think I I don't need to get them and get it in order, but you know, some student loan things that is on my credit that you know I'm paying and I can actually get forgiveness for them because I work for the government. So I'll be taking y'all through the process of getting that forgiveness for those um, student loans as well as I do have a couple credit card bills that I need to pay off and I think I got like a couple doctor bills or something you know just typical stuff on my credit or whatever that we're gonna just try to take care of uh, establish some uh, you know on time payments paying off some things and seeing how we can manipulate this credit game and uh, get my credit up so we can actually go get everything that we want not just a few of the things that we want and actually enjoy life man so um y'all in for a long ride with me man uh just to finish that conversation off though yeah your finances is definitely something you want to keep in check man um it's a serious game like it i mean it ain't really a game but i'm just saying it's a serious thing um when you financially prepared for a lot of different things. Like right now at my age, I got kids that's, you know, grown. Um, you know, my oldest son is like 23 years old or something like that. So at the end of the day, man, um, there's certain things that he may need that I need to provide, you know what I mean, to help him out. Cause he got real grown up situations that he should really be able to lean on his parents for, you know what I mean? So we gotta, I gotta think about those type of things, uh, as well as, you know, as time goes on, kids get to going to school and stuff. But I want y'all to check out some of these old schools in this building. I can't get inside it, but they got the windows and stuff that you can see inside, man. Um, that's a clean cutlass right there, sure. That's a clean cutlass. Clean us, that's right there. Old school Cadillac. With that color stay on the front, grandpa's toy. Hey, these some old, old, old school cars up in there, man, for sure. They got a lot of them in here though. Um, let me see that Cadillac right there. I would like to say that that's a El Dorado. I'm not sure what that is though. I don't know. This is a nice old caddy right here too. Another caddy. They got several caddies in this one. That's a Burt right there. That's a Burt too. Mustang back there. Yeah, they got some cars up in these windows right here, man. I ride by here all the time and I said one day, I'm gonna get out the car and kind of walk it for the channel, man, and let y'all check it out, man. Uh, it's another cutlass around the corner. It looks like somebody left it there. We're gonna walk around there and check that out real quick. My my homeboy's dad had a Cadillac like this. I don't know if he still got it or not, but my homeboy Terry's dad had a like just like that. But his was clean though. He may still got it. I ain't for sure. They got a clean cutlass too. I need to go get on the uh, channel so y'all can see that. There's some more cars in this building that I'm about to walk by over here too, man. I uh, hope we ain't, you know, invading nobody's space. I don't need no problems. I don't need no issues. You feel what I'm saying? I don't need no issues, duh. I'm just trying to entertain my, you know, my channel. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to bring it to my people. You know what I mean? I heard I was doing a good job from, you know, somebody who I rock with who's going to be real honest with me. Cause he was happy that I changed the name of the channel too. Chevelli. That's the SS. You know we got you know, we gotta get the SS's on here for the channel. Super Sport Kid. Somebody may be storing that here too. That might be storage right there. I ain't for sure. Cause uh, some of them got plates on them and stuff. People riding by seeing me with this camera out like, what is he doing? But y'all know what time it is though. Oh, they got the 442. My dad liked this model uh, Cutlass like that. He liked that one. That's one of his favorites. Even though he had the, I want to say the 78 or 79 G body, he liked these though. Yeah, man. That mug is clean and it got the red stripe on the tire. 
Let's go over here and look at this uh this cutlass real quick though. I think I got a beamer in there. And the old school benzo. Now let's go look at this uh at this cutlass real quick. I just wanna get this on video. Look at this mug, man. It's just sitting here rotting, man. Somebody could come get this and put this mug back together. That's crazy. This is a nice piece too, man. I like this body style. Got the factory, still got the factory rims on it. Rallies. Could be some living in it or under it, so I don't want to get too crazy. Maybe a raccoon or something under that mug. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. The, the body. Unless there's something wrong with the frame. Unless there's something wrong with the frame, I really don't see nothing wrong with the car. And why is it still sitting here? I mean, now you need some bumpers. And the rest of those bumpers don't even look like this car been sitting outside as long as I've known it to be sitting out here. It's been sitting out here for a while. But yeah, somebody could come grab that, bring that back to life. It'll snap back real quick. I'm going to see this car with a nice top similar to the color that's on it. Paint it back this brown color with some uh, chrome and gold Forgiatos on it, man. I don't know if I would run the pinstripe down it though like that. I'd definitely get rid of that weather stripping down at the bottom. We send it all the way down. I don't know. I might come crazy with the grill and the bumpers too. It just depends on how I look after I get them feet on there, man. But you can really do something with this. It's revivable. I'll throw an LS motor in there. 4L80E transmission and let's go get them guts together because you ain't bringing them back to life but the seats is cool I just get them rewrapped new headliner all new glass in it yeah new 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 bezels around the uh, lights new lights I mean you know I mean the, the normal stuff but you can still you can still get those like your deep your emblems and stuff like that man they sent a bad car man they just got it sitting like this is crazy i don't know dog maybe somebody gonna get it though man but let's get up off these people's property man i don't want no problems you know what i mean we already didn't have the boys caught on us one time and we ain't doing nothing wrong we just came out you know shed a little light on the situation if i can yeah there we go so yeah, everything is cool, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back to the house, check on my uh, meal prep stuff, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna hit y'all with another one, man. I'm gonna keep bringing y'all this content. Again, I'm, I'm definitely serious about this credit stuff, man. We gonna get that in and, um, you know, I need to do a, a thumbnail though, real quick. How can I do one? Alright. Or should I do one on that? I'm leaving this on here too. I'm gonna do a thumbnail on the one that's over here sitting. Yeah, let's do a thumbnail on this one real quick. Or should I do a port a picture? And, uh, right, but yeah, man, I appreciate everybody that's been uh tuning in, man, with your boy. <laughs> I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in with your boy, man. It's been all good, man. I've been dropping a lot of content, doing a lot of stuff, man. Like, you know, the people that's tapped in, they know, you know what I mean? Like, everybody ain't tapped in right now, but eventually everybody gonna be tapped in, and that's when we gonna really go up, man. We gonna go up on this credit. We gonna go up on this bag we about to collect. We gonna go up on these cars. We gonna go up on this real estate, man. We just about to get it, man, by all means. So make sure y'all stay tapped into the Super Sport Kid, man. I'll be back with some more updates on the Monte Carlo SS as soon as I actually got something to report on, man. I haven't talked to Matt since the last time I went over there when we seen the frame. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be calling me in a little bit, man. I ain't gonna rush him. I ain't going over there. I'm going to just be patient and wait till it's done. And then once that's done, man, we really, really going to turn up with this content, man. But, man, make sure y'all hitting that, that subscribe button. 
hitting that share button, man. Um, if y'all like the video, make sure y'all like the video. Leave me a comment, man, down below. Let me know what else y'all want to see, man, as far as uh, everything goes, man. Um, the kids, the business side. It's all going to be on every, 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 every vlog that I do. It's basically going to be consistent with my entire life, man. I'm giving y'all my life every day, man. I'm dropping these videos every day, every other day. Man, and I mean, it's like a story, man, that I'm telling y'all. I'm, I'm bringing it to y'all right now, man. So, like I said, I appreciate everybody that's tapping in, man. If I can motivate y'all to be great after y'all see this come up, man, I hope so. I hope that's what it leads to, man. I'm good.